Welcome to the spoken tutorial on simulation of a SMIB using Open IPSL. In this tutorial, we will learn how to simulate a controlled SMIB system, plotting voltage profiles of buses, plotting delta curve of the generator. To record this tutorial, I am using Open Modlica version 1.12.0. Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04 Also, use the latest version of OpenIPSL to avoid compatibility issues. I am using OpenIPSL version 1.5.0. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical to other OS such as Windows, Mac OS X or Fossey OS on ARM. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of power systems, modeling using Open Modlica. For relevant Open Modlica tutorials, please visit our website. Earlier in this series, we have already seen how to connect a controlled SMIB system. Let us open the SMIB system which we modeled in earlier tutorial. Also, open the OpenIPSL library. We have already opened the SMIB system. Now, the next task is setting up each component by entering the parameter data and power flow data. Let me enter the data for the generator model. For this, navigate to generator tab Open Generator Parameter window. We can see that there are initialization data, power flow data, and machine parameters. Refer to the additional material section for the values to be entered. I am entering the values here and initializing E1Q start and E2Q start as true values. For this, Click on the checkbox which is to the left of the parameter, then select true start value is used to initialize. Now enter the rest of the parameters as shown. I have entered all the data here. The system data block is used to set the system base and frequency. In this case, we can see it is set to 100 MVA as system base and frequency as 50 Hz. Now, as the parameters and power flow data are set for all the components, we are ready to simulate it. Before simulating the model, save it to a desired location. Firstly, let us check the generator model by clicking on the tick mark icon at the top of the model. Here, we can see there are 66 equations in the model and 66 variables for generator model. And doing the same for network model gives 142 equations and 142 variables. From this, we can say the models are solvable. Close the message browser. Let us proceed to the simulation of the network model. Click on the simulation setup icon at the top of the model. This is to set up the solver and other parameters for the simulation. Here, I am using the solve method and tolerance of e to the power of minus 6. The simulation time is set to 0 to 10 seconds. Make sure the simulate checkbox is checked before you click on OK. Click on OK which is at the bottom of the window and the simulation starts. The simulation output window pops up. This shows the compilation and running status of the simulation. After the simulation is successful, close the simulation output window. We can see that the window has been changed to plotting perspective. 
on the right hand side we can see all the components are listed in the variables browser tab click on the expand button which is on the left side of each component now we can see all the variables under that particular component now let me show you the voltage profile at the fault bus that is bus 2 click on the expand button on the left hand side of bus 2 we can see all the parameters of the bus now click on the checkbox which is on the left hand side of the voltage parameter this plots the graph of voltage at bus 2 let me close the message browser for better view the y axis unit is in per unit and the x axis unit is in seconds here we can see the plot starts from 0 seconds and ends at 10 seconds during the fault that is from the duration 0.5 to 0.57 seconds there is a huge dip in the voltage profile after the fault is cleared at 0.57 seconds the voltage rises quickly as the system is a controlled one the voltage has less oscillations about its steady state value the voltage settles down after about 3.9 seconds in this system the steady state stability is achieved in less time after the fault is cleared this is due to the additional controls such as AVR and PSS used in the system earlier in the series the SMIB which was modeled was an uncontrolled one let's compare the time taken by the uncontrolled system to that of a controlled one we can see the settling time is reduced this indicates that system regained its stability in less time with the help of controls like AVR and PSS here we can also see that the voltage doesn't drop down to zero at this bus this is because of the fault impedance involved we can also view the voltage profiles of the other bus that is B1 after selecting B2 and B1 voltages we can clearly see the voltage drop between the buses this is the drop caused by the impedance of the transmission lines now clear these plots by unchecking the parameter checkboxes we can also plot the delta curve of the generator this indicates whether the system is accelerating or stable for this expand the generator and order 61 which is a sixth order generator here we can see all the variables of generator click on the checkbox of delta to plot its graph from the graph we can see the system is accelerated when the fault occurs at 0.5 seconds the delta then oscillates about the steady state value after the fault is cleared it settles down at 5.26 seconds making the system stable this brings us to the end of this tutorial let us now summarize in this tutorial we have learned how to simulate a controlled smib system plotting voltage profiles of buses plotting delta curve of the generator as an assignment we recommend you to open the SMIB system which was modeled in earlier tutorial. Enter the required data, then simulate it. Then explore the results obtained. The FOSSI team invites contributions to develop power system networks using OpenIPSL library. For more details, please visit this website. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. 
please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries in this forum. The FOSSI team coordinates the Textbook Companion project. For more details, please visit these sites. The FOSSI team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to Open Modelica. For more details, please visit this website. Spoken Tutorial and FOSSI projects are funded by MHRD, Government of India. We acknowledge the contributions made by Professor Luigi Vanfretti and Bisharup for the models used in this series. This is Usha signing off. Thank you for joining.